Hello and welcome back everyone. So today we're going to be looking at a special type of feminist, the Latino feminist. I'm sure it's going to be loads of fun and hell we may even have to break out into a musical number. I just I just have a feeling. Now this is a young budding feminist so let's be on our best behavior. Let's let's try not to be racist or misogynistic. I want everyone on their best behavior. <laughs> yeah, let's go. When I was a little girl, I was often expected to play jump rope and hopscotch during recess. Alright, I'll bite. Who expected you to play jump rope and hopscotch during recess? For once, I would just love to meet these people. I would like to sit down and have a conversation and see what they actually think and believe. But no, that's not going to happen, is it? But what if all I wanted was to play soccer and basketball with the boys? But especially soccer, because soccer was the only sport that the Hispanics kids played. The bastards! How dare they have fun perpetuating a stereotype? What the hell? No, I never asked to play because in my mind it was not an option, so I decided to just not play at all. And that's how it was for me throughout all elementary. See, you haven't been trained well enough yet. You fucked up when you said... So I decided to just not play at all. Now you're gonna have to explain your way around it being your decision. Actually, now I'm interested to see how you turn this into it being society's fault. In fifth grade, I was awarded the Ghana's Award, and I was really happy about it. However, I did not know what it was, or what it was for, or why I was being awarded. I just knew it was only given to one Hispanic boy and one Hispanic girl from each elementary school. And I thought, cool, I'm being awarded for being Hispanic. Which is just fucking stupid. You should not get an award for being born with a certain skin color. No more than you should be getting a parade for having a certain sexuality. But hey, that's what you guys decided to spend your victim points on. It's not my fault. I then realized that I was being awarded because many people believed that I was what a good Hispanic girl should be. Those misogynistic bastards. Seriously, you get an award you complain, you don't get an award you complain, the fuck? To this day, I don't think I'm the best representation of that. But I do know that the, receiving the award helped me realize that Hispanic women are not only underestimated, but mostly just uninformed. Look, if there was somebody else better for the award, they would have got it. The fact that you think that Latino women are uninformed kind of means that you're underestimating them, right? Ah, uh, yeah, this is the feminism we all know and love. In Latino culture, women are expected to be housewives and to be very inferior to men. And I can expect a fucking sandwich, but nobody's going to put it in my hand. I normally have to go make it for myself. See, I can have expectations of whatever I want, but having expectations does not will those things into reality. And not many people seek to change that about that culture. Being so that according to the National Latino Network, one out of three Latinas experienced domestic violence. You know what? I actually went to that website. And it took me a moment to find where they're getting their sources from. But inevitably, I couldn't find any hard facts or statistics from this reference. I did, however, track down the article which they're referencing. And apparently you have to pay for it. Now, I'm not paying for the thing. But I am going to assume that your numbers are bullshit. If the study is not readily available to the public for scrutiny or criticism, then I'm not going to take it seriously. If anyone else has any information that they can add to this, please leave me a comment down below. And two in five experience severe abuse. Out of the two in five, 82% believe that abusive relationships are not good to be in. Yet 46% admit that they believe that leaving an abusive relationship is more dangerous than staying in one. But since in our culture, men are head of the house, we are taught not to question their behavior. Not even when we're the ones getting hurt. You have got to show me where they're teaching everyone this. You know there are plenty of feminists who would love to go take a class at the School for Victims. Oh wait a second, that's what gender studies is, holy shit. Although only 16.4 of the women in the US are Latinas, the reputation for us is very low. 39% of those Latinas are expected to have been or be pregnant in their teenage years. By god that patriarchy, now it's impregnating little Mexican girls. Is there no end to its treachery? And according to the U.S. Department of the Health and Human Services, Hispanics have the highest rate of teen pregnancy. But surely there has to be some good reputation for us, right? You know what? Pick any ethnicity. Pick any country. Pick any religion. Pick any kind of person you want, and there will be negative things said about them. 
If you go looking for bad reputations directed towards a group of people, you're going to find it. As of right now, only two out of 98 women in Congress are Latina. But what can I do to change that, I ask myself? How about, you know, running for Congress? Seriously, how do you retards not understand that in a country that is primarily white, primarily white people are going to be in office? I try to think of ways, but almost all of them seem nearly impossible because currently all these topics are of little importance to the Latino population in America. Because what almost everyone is fighting for is citizenship and immigration problems. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you go tell all the illegal immigrants that they need to go register legally. You go tell them this so that way they can worry about things like getting into office and Congress. This is why America chooses to categorize all Latinos as part of supporters of the pro-immigration movement. Do you suppose we do this because it might be true? Although that might be true. <laughs> uh, yeah, shame on us. Shame on us. God forbid anybody points out anything, especially if it's true. They neglect to recognize other topics that Latina women support. So, this poor little Chiquita, so oppressed and she wants you to know, it's because she's Latino. Por qué? Oh, promidos, hermana, estoy lo siento, para no es importante a mí. What? Hey, I said we might break out a musical number. Don't give me that look. You know you enjoyed it. And these topics are very much what feminist supporters believe in also. But when the word feminism is brought up, all that comes into mind is white women, as if white women are the only ones affected by discrimination based on gender and the only ones fighting for equal rights. But what about the black peoples? Okay, you're pressing them by not talking about them too, okay? The Asians. And what about the Middle Eastern people? Holy shit, you know what? You need to stop worrying about the little Latino women, sit down, and check your privilege. Cause, oh my god. Just because Latino culture teaches us to follow our tradition doesn't mean our rights shouldn't be fought for. The rights to hold the same position as men, the rights to hold the same positions as white men and white women. Sonia is what the mayor accomplishment and I know that so can many other Latino women. But first, they're going to need to get legal citizen status. I believe that everyone should have basic human rights. But you don't get to enjoy our United States Constitution if you're not a citizen of the United States of America. So here we are at the end. Now, like all feminists, this person thinks that they are special based on something that they were born with. And my message to this young lady, the world does not revolve around you being female. The same way, the world does not revolve around you being Latina. You are, however, allowed to take pride in that or whatever else if you want to. But don't expect special attention because you have pride in something. If you are a legal citizen of the United States, then you do enjoy the laws that people have fought for that ensure equality. The laws that ensure that you will not be discriminated against based on you being female and Latino. And this concludes our time for today. Until next time, remember, keep up the fight against stupidity wherever you may find it. Have a good one.